start streaming. It might just go straight live. I don't know. Probably is. We're live, huh? We might be live ish soon anyway. Yeah. Oh. Cool, huh? Oh. Yeah, they got rid of that button. There's an end stream, but there's no start stream. All right. So. We're here. We're live. I mean, there's nobody here yet, but we're live. Yep. Let me get this. Go there. Do this thing. One viewer. One viewer? Hello, viewer. So many viewer. Three. Katie. That was an absurd way to There's do that. There's no reason for that. <laughs> None at all. All right. Ow. What's that? She's oh, your belt my thing? My tassels, and she's sitting here trying to... Get them? Get my tassels. Well, they look like toys. They definitely do. All right. They're attached to me. Did you know you were bringing toys for the cat when you got on, when you put that dress on? No, <laughs> I did not. Thank you very much. Yep. Well. Hello, Becky. What's up, Becky and Gadget? Gadget, yeah. Hello, hello. Hmm. Let me find my stream chat thing yeah. here. I've broken it. No, that's the wrong chat. It's okay, we got it over here. Well, there's a cat right here. That's a mouse. Cat mouse. There she is. She's mouthy, we'll say. That's her. It's that cat. Yep. She's 100% that cat. Well, we are just a month behind for Universal Yums. Yeah. This tonight is Thailand. Oh, you did put Thailand on there. Awesome. I did. Hmm. Oh. This camera's not working. Uh-oh. Broken. Broken stuff. May have. Yep, we are just a month behind. That's all. We got ours very quickly this time. Yeah. Usually it takes, I mean, we get the shipping around the middle of the month and it takes two, three weeks to come. It sits in Greensboro forever. Yep. This time? Not this time. Came right away. Yeah, showed right up. Oh, hi, friends. Oh, who said hi, friends? Oh, David. Oh, David. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll Hello, allow Jacob. it. Okay, as long as you'll allow it. Yeah. Uh, so today we have uh, internet that works. Hopefully. Yeah, that was a whole thing uh, yesterday. And uh, this past week. Yeah, so for the last couple of days, I guess, I've been kind of working on it, troubleshooting, trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, then uh, Wednesday, I guess it was. Must have been Wednesday yeah. or Tuesday. No, it was yesterday. What is today? Today's Thursday, right? Yeah, so it was yeah good. So Tuesday, I figured out what was wrong with it. And that's that I needed to get a new modem for the, 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 the internet. That thing. But I also hurt my back that day picking up a piece of trash off the floor. He's old. Because uh, I'm old. And uh, so I uh, I couldn't go and get it because I was like, oh, my back. And so uh, yesterday I went and I got a new modem. And that didn't fix the issue uh, because also it turns out our router was bad. So I got a new modem and a new router. And now, now we're good. Yay. So that's fun. Yeah. So today that means we have a decent enough... Uh, Hopefully, stream, stream quality. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not losing. Uh, I'm not losing frames. Frames and stuff. So that's good. I'm not being constantly disconnected. So that's a plus. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into this Universal Yums here. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Now we buy this. Uh, the land of smiles is what it says. Is that what Thailand's known for? Their smiles. I mean, this sticker says so. Okay. Has anyone also, been to Thailand here? The sticker is very cute. It's got like two, I don't know, it's like two caves or something, and then a boat for a smile. How fun is that? I hope you guys brought snacks because we want to share. Because we brought snacks. Okay. okay. I, I did get spoiled a while back, but it has been so long that I have no recollection of what is in there yeah so these are the places that we're gonna have stuff from becky you've never left the country you should definitely do that eh. but she has snacks so that's fine i haven't either well it's not true i went to uh you've been to canada 
I've been to Canada, which is, I mean, it well, was it north is... of Detroit. Uh, I've been sure. to. Sure. I've been to uh, uh, some places on that cruise. Yeah, so we've been to Central the Caribbean and, yep. islands, yep. which are yep. owned by different countries. Went to Jamaica one time. See, yep. I guess all that counts. Never been to Thailand, though. Like, no, nope. I've been to Cambodia, yeah. not to Thailand, though. All right. Which have very similar sort of cuisines a little bit. So, you want this thing? Sure. Okay. Okay. Off we go to Thailand. They have such nice literature for this, I tell you what. Literature? Literature. Hmm. Oh, you're going to like this. So the month's um, ingredients and uh, recipe is Thailand's famous red curry. Oh, I, I love curry. Yep. It has canola oil, chicken, shallots, garlic, red curry paste, ginger, coconut milk, green onion, cilantro and lime juice that all sounds that good sounds about right yeah all right uh <laughs> one of the complications is that a lot of this isn't in english well that's why we have this <laughs> so this is the thing i pulled out first uh, okay it says party on the back does that help it does wait well, let me see the phone again. Looks like they look oh, like this. Okay. checks. It's Tasto Sweet and Spicy Sweet Garlic Wheat Crisps. Thai folks can all agree sweet and spicy is an essential flavor combo. But how spicy is spicy exactly? That's where the discussion heats up or cools down depending on what side you're on. You see, the South is heavily influenced by Malaysia and Java where super spicy chili peppers reign supreme. But northern cities like Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai, less spicy garlic is the go-to. Now, we're not taking sides. We would never, but we'll just leave these crispy, sweet, and spicy chips here. Chiang okay. Mai. It says on the back, there is a little bit of English. It says, fried sweet potato chips coated with butter, caramel, sweet, and spicy flavored party. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw something out here. Um, I was looking through the ingredients. Mm -hmm. And this is shrimp. Is it? Yeah. I don't... This is shrimp right there. I don't eat shrimp. It's shrimp powder. Yes. What is shrimp powder made from? Um, we there's no way to know. Yeah. There's no way to know. Hey, Kimberly. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of stuff tonight that uh, Audrey doesn't care for. There are like... 15 chips in here. How does it smell? It smells fine. Yeah. You want to smell it? I don't love the way it smells. I mean, it, I, it's kind of a weird smell, but that's this big old bag. It was like fully puffed out. That's all the chips. They're smaller than I expected. Yeah, they're lull. Yeah, there's ew. definitely like a. Ew. Sorry, I was looking ahead. No, look ahead. I think it's like honey or something. It, well, this is. Sweet and spicy. So, ingredients. Sugar is the first ingredient. Sugar and shrimp. Hey, I'm not looking forward to this. Um, palm oil, tapioca starch, wheat flour, sweet potatoes, glucose, garlic, spices, salt, soy, cuttlefish powder. Poor cuttlefish! Monos yeah, we got the MSG. Uh, wheat rusk, dextrose, shrimp powder, soy sauce powder, soybean oil, natural and artificial flavors, yellow, aluminum lake, yellow sixth, and aluminum lake. Take it. Uh, You're I'm not excited about this. I don't like it. It's a lot more like a like a cookie than I thought it was going to be. It doesn't taste like shrimp or anything. There's a there's a note in there that I don't like. Hmm. Mm -mm. I do like them just fine. They're not... They're not bad. They're not great. It is not... There's like a picture of garlics here. I don't taste any garlic. I mean, I can tell that it's there, but... My, I think my, the note you don't like is sweet potatoes. No, it's not sweet. There's some note in there. I'm just not... Scrag, it has sweet potato and Scraggs is interested. 
Would you like those gargles? I mean, she could probably have one. Mm mm. Yeah. What are this? The. She doesn't actually want it. She's a smart dog, I tell you what. Hmm. Now it's stuck in my teeth and I keep tasting it. I think it's fine. It's not blowing my doors off, but I don't know if I'd buy it. But I'll eat it for sure. It's not bad. There's like a little hint of spice in there. It's not very spicy. Just like, like I can tell that somebody would be like, that's kind of spicy. You think? Well, yeah, I mean, I our, like... barom, our gauge is yeah. off and spicy, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, coated with party? That's what it says. Coated with party. Spicy flavored, coated with spicy flavored party. Butter, caramel, sweet, and spicy flavored party. I mean, if they would have taken the MSG out, I can imagine how terrible this would taste. As king of condiments. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Oh. Ink guy says we must have big plans for tomorrow's stream if we're doing this today. Really, it's because we want to do this for a couple of weeks, but oh, we had no. Audrey's family here. Don't be looking ahead. I'm like, not going to like basically any of this. <laughs> and then uh, we had internet troubles for the whole yeah. last week until like last night I finally got that dealt with. So yeah. uh, we're just kind of behind. We'll probably do another one this weekend. Just do the... the yeah, we can do that. The other one's Egypt. And I have no idea what to I've expect not out seen, of that. I've not been spoiled by that. I have no idea what no. kind of snacks Egypt... Katie! Why? Katie, get down. Why? We have one of those Ikea cubes over here. And she just went in the one that has all the, all the Star Wars Legos in there. And decided she uh -huh. wanted yeah. to be in there. Alright, this is next. Oh, this I don't think I'm going to like this. Um... No, there's going to be lots like this. I can't read. These aren't letters. That I, there's Tasto Salt and Sour. Salty Lemon Potato Chips. Sounds weird. It's a rare, if rare snacks you're after, any Thai person will point you to the same place, Bangkok. The capital city's street markets are the epicenter of the country's kookiest flavors, filled with everything from fried tadpoles, wasabi-flavored salmon skin, cuttlefish flavored peas and even fried silkworms but there is one snack you won't find salt and vinegar chips gasp yeah we were shocked too until we tasted the more popular salty lemon chips which have the same salty sour profile but with a subtle fruitiness that might even be more addictive this has nothing in it that you're going to dislike no nope. potatoes they do a lot of palm oil it seems of, like that's bad for the country right or like uh, what, bad for the world is palm it palm oil, oil? I think that's not right. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure it's not good to have palm oil. It messes up um, stuff. I mean, they got palm trees there, likely. Is this going to be worse? I don't think it's going to be worse. No way is it going to be worse than being no. blue. No. That was horrible. Let's just go ahead and say, I don't like banana. I don't, and there's multiple banana things in here. Well, this is potatoes and sugar no, and salt fine. and yeah. stuff like that. So. I'm interested to see what this is going to taste like. Yeah. Let's get in there. This one is from Amp Amp Amphala? Amphala. No, wait, this is a Bangkok. The other one, the the one I'm, I'm not looking forward to. How's that? Okay, that's fine. neutral. Again, not very many potato there chips. There aren't very many chips, yeah. They don't really, they're not going overboard on these chips, I tell you what. No. No. All right, you ready? I like them. It's not sour. It's not really. I don't mind them actually. No. I don't taste any. I don't really taste the lemon though. Put your tongue on, like you know. No. I don't have another one. I do like this. Yeah, if you just put your tongue straight on it. Yeah. You get like a little bit of citrus. It starts and then the salt mm. kicks in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the citrus and the vinegar are like melding together in some way. There's no vinegar. I thought you said it was vinegar. No, they oh, don't yeah. have salt and vinegar chips. Oh, I see. So instead of vinegar, I have yeah. lime or a citrus. Not bad. Kind of generic chip. It's. It's not normal. It's better. No. I would say it's better than just a regular potato chip because it's thicker. It um. Yeah, it's not as thick as a muncho or anything. It's not as but... fried either. I think it's the palm oil must be yeah it's got a good flavor mm -hmm. um yeah i dig this i like that you can yeah. tell it was a real potato look at that yeah. potato chip you can see like the center of the potato in there it's got like yeah. the dark that yeah 
Go. It's not a muncho, but I still love munchos. I bought a bag of munchos the other day again. All right. No regrets. I don't know what this is, but it looks weird. <laughs> this is um, Roll Farm, Sea Roll Farm fried shrimp with salad cream flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> fried shrimp with salad cream. That's got to be ranch, right? Wait, where is this? I don't know. It's probably in that book back there. I think it's this? I think it's this. Yeah, but it's not. No. Oh. Go back this way? It's right there. Oh, they just didn't have the. It was. It says, yeah. Oh, see, that threw me off. Well, it's oh, not well. Oh, no. Ew. Seaweed. I don't mind seaweed. That, that was not for that. Seaweed wrapped potato stick with fried shrimp and mayo flavor. They, they took all the worst things. No, it says salad cream seasoning, which is shrimp powder and natural spicy dairy that's powder. The Mary, that's the mayo flavor. But that's uh, onion, garlic, and pepper. Yeah, it like says it's like mayo. Today's the day you're going to take a potato stick wrapped in shrimp and mayo flavored seaweed. When you woke <laughs> up this morning, you probably didn't think that would be on the agenda. Yeah, here it is. Yep, that's how I feel about this. <laughs> it's like a little guy over here just like cramming this roll in his face. <laughs> Everything about this product is unexpected, including the origin story. The man behind it, uh, Tilipat Tab uh, Pira de Chapin, <laughs> was just a teenager when he made his first million selling chestnuts. Yes, you read that right, chestnuts. A few years after his first success came another... Tab noticed his girlfriend eating plain dried seaweed and thought it could use an upgrade. He took plain seaweed and fused it with classic Thai flavors and voila! Now we have fried shrimp and mayo seaweed wrapped around a crispy potato stick. Go ahead and try it. In fact, think of it as just the beginning of this unexpected ride through Thai cuisine. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Are you looking forward to it? No! I mean, I really like shrimp chips, so I'm not too worried about this. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> All the worst things. <laughs> Sounds like the name for an amazing subscription box. This is what it looks like. See we wrapped around a shrimp chip, basically. I'll just take a bite from wherever. I don't want... I'll just take a bite... Uh... <laughs> I kind of like this. You know what? I actually I like this. I think it's good. The textures are weird because the seaweed gets stuck to the back of your teeth. It is stuck in my teeth, yeah. <laughs> but I think it tastes pretty good. What do you think? You don't love it? No. It's like weirdly creamy somehow, but it's not creamy. But it's like puffy, but creamy somehow. Universal yucks. <laughs> I like it. Well, that's the rest of that for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got no problem with that. <laughs> Yeah, it's very puffy. It's really stuck to my teeth. It's really stuck to mine, and I want to pick it mm. up because I want it gone and out of my mouth. Mm. You can't have this one. <sighs> and we're supposed to microwave it. Oh, but you should do it. This is May Napa sticky rice with coconut cream and mango. You can't have this. Mm. Let's try another one. Do you want me to tell about it? Um, you can do that while I go and microwave it, I think. How's that sound? How about this one? Oh, well, I'm gonna like Salty this. Salty lime gummy candy. Yep. Pineapples aren't the only way Thai folks enjoy salty fruit. 
In the summer, there's no drink more refreshing or popular than Namamano, a limeade made from a mix of lime juice, sugar, and a sprinkling of salt to finish. With these salty lime gummies, prepare for your taste buds to be transported to the summery beaches of Thailand, though adults may be transported to a tequila-tinged night of the past. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. A quality product of General Candy Company. Gen it's general just candy. General. Yeah. What kind of candy do you have there? Just you know, just like, just like candy. In general. They really like the salty. Oops. Got it. Right, this is maybe. what they look like. They're like a little, just like a little strip. Oh, yeah, cream colored. Dink. That is weirdly salty. I know it says salty on the front. I wasn't really expecting it to be that salty. It's gelatin free. Vegan. I'm happy that it's taking out some of the taste of the last mm -hmm. one. But it's sort of hard to tell because it's that other stuff. The first one still had a little bit of the seaweed mayo in my mouth. It has malic acid, but it's got so little malic acid. Like It doesn't taste mm -hmm. sour to me at all. Sugar, yeah. glucose syrup, modified food starch, pineapple juice, and glycerin, basically. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. These are, oh. I, I, I wonder why we don't have more candies in a strip here, you know? Or you got like sour belts or something. The but. Belt, yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's very good. I like it. Yeah, I'm shocked. I like this too. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a weird thing where it doesn't exactly taste salty. No. It's... But it makes your w mouth water like crazy. Yeah. It does. Hmm. And it has a nice chew to it. It doesn't have the the same kind of gumminess that yeah, like gummy a gummy bear. worm or something. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I would buy that. Yeah, tasty. Good job, gummy salt lime. Heartbeat lime gummy. I'm into that. Yeah. Let's do this um, Suthera coconut uh, Thai coconut roll with natural banana. Neither of us are gonna like this. Wait, which one is this? Suthera coconut. Oh, there it is. Thing, yeah. Banana coconut roll. You know what I don't like? Banana. You know what else I don't like? Coconut. Yeah. Let's combine two another of things that Audrey does not like into one thing. You can follow it down with a uh, salty lime gummy. Okay, well, thanks. Not all fruits in Thailand are salty. Some are sweet and some are ghostly. According to the Thai folk tradition, wild banana trees are haunted by a ghost woman named Nyang Tani. <laughs> That's why Thai folks refuse to grow the trees near their homes. Fortunately, Nyang Tani happens to be a benevolent ghost and has even been known to give food to passing monks. In this case, she's given us a super crispy banana coconut roll. The only scary thing about them is how quickly they'll be gone. So according to the ingredients, which give actual percentages, oh, wow. this is mostly coconut milk. So 36% coconut milk, 30% okay. rice flour, and 16% sugar. 7% banana, so fairly small banana amounts. A couple other things, a little egg, a little oil, a little taro. Palm oil again. Hmm. Yeah. It just says oil on here. I guess we should assume if it says oil, it means palm there oil. Are a in Southeast Asia, there are so many different types of bananas that, you know, here, you know, there's like a couple basically, and that's yeah. pretty much all we get are the same types of bananas. All kinds of them. They have different shapes, different flavors. Wow, that's a lot more of them in there than I expected it to be. To be more honest. than I hoped there would be, yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take Are you going to take that burnt one? Nice. Did you want the burnt one? No, you can have that. I've got my eye on a different burnt one. This was the smallest one? This is the second smallest one. <laughs> oh, they're like little, um, what do you call those things? They're like little pastries that are rolled up and fried or whatever. That's very fragrant. Oh, it's, that's coconut right there. That's pure. Oh, it's going to be great. No. You're going to love it. Positive mental attitude. I hate this. All over the floor. All of them. Move it, Scraggles. Yeah, it's a mess. 
Yep, this is quite the mess it's made. They hit the floor and shattered. Fortunately, it's not something I like. How do you like them? I've finished it. That yeah. might be a Becky. Like, Pepperidge Farm has those little roll-up things. I don't know. Priolized. Priolized. Yeah, it could be it. Scraggs, come here. Come on. Scraggles. Katie's gonna eat it. Katie, fuck off. Scraggles, come on. I mean, Katie, go away. <laughs> I swore onto the camera. Sorry. Sorry, kids. Not safe for work. I guess not. Scraggles. Oh, she got a whole. She got a whole roll. Oh, oh, good girl. Good girl. Eat it. <laughs> I thought I got all the whole rolls. All right. Well, those hit the floor. Um, I don't like that. I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Could have been worse. Scraggles likes it. She does like it. And there's nothing in there she can't have. No. They're not so. very... There's not really sugary or anything. No. Coconut milk and rice flour, basically. A little banana. Yeah. Perfectly fine for a Scraggles. All right. Yeah. Gross. Your children are crying now. <laughs> well, I get yeah. it. All right. You want to tell them about this thing? I'm going to go heat it up. It says heat it up for 15 seconds. So I'll be back soon. Well, do you want to show it? Oh. Yeah, I guess I should. This is what it looks like. I guess that dry nonsense in my mouth. Yeah. This is a sticky rice, coconut cream, and mango. I am... Okay. What do I do with this thing? Tear the pouch. Soak in hot water for five minutes. This just then... says heat in the microwave for 15 seconds. It says soak in hot water for five minutes. Soak the pouch in water for five minutes and then open the pouch in microwave for 15 seconds. Did you see the microwave thing? I was That's what I do. Thing. I mean, you're probably not going to like it anyways. Yeah, right. Whatever. It's not going to be so much worse. You gotta exactly. hydrate indeed. Okay. Rice is eaten with every meal in Thailand. In fact, Thai verb to eat literally translates to eat rice. Rice is even defined or uh, deified as May Fosop, a.k.a. the rice goddess, who watches over locals to ensure they have enough to eat. Given all this, it's not surprising that mango sticky rice is Thailand's most beloved dessert. Uh, to enjoy this yum like a true local, heat in the microwave for 15 seconds and better savor every last grain. Otherwise, may, may sop may come find you. It just has coconut cream, rice, mango, and sugar. That's it. I mean, maybe I could have eaten it, but I do love mango. I do not love coconut, as you've um, seen many times. Scraggles is actually down here. Um, she's completely cleaned it up. So she is a big fan of the Suthera banana coconut roll, which is sort of surprising, actually. I'm not... Well, she likes sweet potato, so it... I don't know. I could sort of see her liking it now because it wasn't too sweet. Well, are you ready to do this? You can stay in that set chair if you want. Yeah, that's okay. She cleaned it all up for us down there. Good girl, Scrags. Oh! oh. Goodness. <sighs> that was the... Are you excited about this? No. Okay. Well. What did we learn about it? Um. I heard the to eat is to eat rice. That's pretty awesome. Yep, it's their most beloved dessert. Really? Yep. Okay, well now I'm looking forward to it a little bit more. Yep. Mango sticky rice is their their favorite. Okay. It looks like looks like it is. It looks. It's, it's like rice, basically, like sticky rice. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I, I thought that you would actually not mind it. I'm going to have another bit of it. Yeah. The thing is, I don't like sticky rice because mm -hmm. of the texture. And it, there's a strong coconut component. Wow. Not as strong as I was afraid it would be. It's going to be. It's supposed to have the first uh, class the fall at 730. No Zoom link. Hmm. Well. Huh. Mango sticky rice in the freezer from Trader Joe's. That's supposed to be You know, good. if... 
Yeah, if I liked... Um, oh, there's a little bit of mango in the back. All right, Let's I'm getting into some of the mango action. I don't want you to have any of this, though. Okay. Because of the mango. Um, I think if I liked coconut a little bit more... That'd be delicious. I'd be Please. real into this, actually. Yeah. yeah. Same thing in Cantonese. When you ask someone if they've eaten, you ask, have you eaten rice? Huh. Yeah, when in, I was in Cambodia, it's... It's one of those things that you have either, it's not necessarily you have rice for every meal, but you also have like rice noodles or like ramen sort of things, and you have that for breakfast most of the time. So you just sort of have like a ramen bowl with egg and meat. Scraggles loves this. But rice is pretty much where it's at, yeah. Oh my gosh, her tail is wagging so hard down here. I'm glad that I... Oh, there's a little dark area here. What's this? Oh, Ink Guy says he's forced into teaching in person classes on Monday. Oh, Oof. that's too bad. Yeah. A lot of the ones around here have gone to online mm. because they went... In... I just read that NC State has gone online. Yeah. They're letting the students stay on campus, though, if they need to, or if they want to, I guess. So that's good. Yeah. Well, kind of good. Apparently, the students that have been getting in trouble are not on campus. They're in frat houses. Yeah. Shocker. All right, I'm glad I he I heated that up. Like that, that cold, I think would be, be like gooey not good. And like in a, yeah. a mess, yeah. gooey in an unpleasant way. Kimberly also says she believes that the same thing is in Mandarin too. Huh. So there you go. That's neat. You ready for the yum bag? I know it's in there. Well, it's the last thing we have, right? Yeah, it's the last thing. Man, this has been a disappointing one for Audrey. Well, it's not really disappointing. You were expecting it to be to be bad. Well, I think you true. were expecting it to be worse than it actually is. Yeah, I, that's probably true. It's more of an idiom rather than actually literally. Literally bar. Yeah. Huh. yeah. That makes me happy because we have so many idioms here in the U.S. that so many. I would not. I feel bad for somebody who's coming to the U.S. for the first time and trying to understand of it's a piece of cake and like things that literally just don't make sense when you just think of it. Hmm. We have two things of banana chews. Oh. Banana orchard chews. Yep, so do you want to tell about those? Yeah, sure. Okay, these are steamed banana chews. Uh, ever wonder why most banana candy tastes super fake? Like, um, uh, runs? Laffy, Laffy Taffy Laffy and Runs. Laffy Taffy and Runs are the ones I immediately think of. The answer is simple. It is. Compared to artificial alternatives, fresh banana is way more difficult to craft into candy, but it's not impossible, which brings us to... Boom Prairist Boom Okay. Confectionery in Ampawa, Japan or Japan, Thailand, where that's where the most perfectly ripe bananas are stirred into a high heat steamer, mixed with sugar, and packaged into a thick freshness preserving wrapper, creating the yum in your hand. So ready to experience the chewy real banana flavor that makes this candy the best of the bunch? This also has coconut in it, if that makes you feel any better. Banana, glucose syrup, sugar, coconut, and soy. Scraggles loves this rice and mango thing. You know mango is her favorite. She does love mango. Huh. Oh, that's it not what I expected it to look like. <laughs> Me either. It is. It's like just a little piece of uh, toffee or... Uh, yeah, like a like caramel that. chew. Dink. What do you think about this? I don't love it. I don't like this either. No. It's not it's not gross enough that I want to spit it out. I'm not enjoying it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Please. Ah, that's better. What was that? It was me like, I can just not go down my, my lungs. You just went... <laughs> I know. Like a cat or something. <laughs> wow. It got stuck to the top of my mouth. I was trying to go back to the, <laughs> the back of my mouth. I have no idea how that happened. That's why they don't do things in belt shapes, Mike. That's why. Because it just goes right down the, the gullet. <laughs> That's why. Turn it into a distance over Mike to hurl. 
That's good timing. That wasn't a hurl. That was just a... <gasps> <laughs> All right, we have several, four of these, actually. Oh, my. I hope they're not as terrible. No, I think you'll like this. It's pineapple. It's pineapple and salt. Nope, this is not for you, little doggo. Okay. This is another heartbeat pineapple. So heartbeat is the same as the the lime things. It's the same brand. Salty pineapple may sound like another unusual yum, but in Thailand, it couldn't be eat more common. When locals buy fruit, their local fruit vendor will give them complimentary packets of salt and spices, which are meant to be sprinkled on top for an extra mouth-watering flavor explosion. Oh. These salt-filled pineapple candies definitely do the trick. And don't even get us started on the super cute heart shape. Oh, that's getting a little heart shape. One thing that I that started my um, issue with mango, and I didn't realize it at the time, but it is super delicious. Green mango, so my mango before it's ripe, with salt and um, some of the hot mm. flake stuff. Yeah, the chili powder. It's not like powder, but it's like that sort of paste stuff hmm. that they have together. And so you scoop up the salt and the spicy stuff with the green mango. I thought I had a, um, a sunburn on my lips, but it was actually an allergic reaction. So I think it actually started in Cambodia, but that's super Likely. Good. Salted green mango. It's, yeah, delicious. Did you just eat that? Ugh. I like it. It was definitely a hurl. Oh, hey, Braden. Hmm. So. I like seaweed. It's such a good I mean, I do dried like seaweed. Well. Oh, so delicious. Is this is cute. Looks like a nice little Brox. You can show them. It a sure does. Old candy, one of those old fashioned ones. Yeah. No, the smell. Tastes like a lifesavers. It so tastes far. exactly like a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. mm. I love pineapple lifesavers. Oh, there's a little bit of salt. I, I it. definitely did at the same time as this gonna say it can taste that salt. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are awesome. If the salt, it's mm. subtle, but it really makes your mouth water even more. Like it's crazy. <laughs> this is very water. I yeah. Am, yeah. That's so good. Yeah, I, I would buy these. I would 100% buy these. Yeah, I get a big old bag of these. Yeah. These are good. It has vitamin C in it too. They're basically good for you. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep, it's good. I like it. I like it as well. Well, <laughs> it was very up and down. Wouldn't it wasn't, the lows weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. The chips were good. Chips were perfectly good. Yeah. I, think I like these things. Those are really and good. I really like the lime belt things. How about this? I did not. So Sky Girls can so have those. What was your favorite? Mm, like this might be my favorite. These little these little pineapple candies are awesome. I gotta say though. What? This is very good. I cause it's all the good stuff of a dried seaweed treat. Also a shrimp chip. Which I'd never actually I never had until we went to that place in, um, what was it, Baltimore or something? We went out to dinner with, uh, with Joseph and uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a whole group of people, yeah. right? Um, that was, uh, they had shrimp chips as a side. As a side. That's right. I completely forgot. Yeah. I really liked those. I was like, wow, these are great. And this That's is like a shrimp chip is. rolled with seaweed. But the creaminess that it has. I don't that doesn't bother me. That's kind of yeah. like... Um, Cause it's not cream. It's not like you dip a shrimp in some goo. Like, well, yeah. Like the picture. It's not like that. It's, no, it's pretty good. So yeah. which one is your least favorite? Oh, the, these, these things. Really? This banana coconut roll, not for me. Hmm. Um, I don't like that at all. I would eat all of these other things instead of that. Even this this mango coconut yeah. cream sticky rice. I'm surprised by how little I dislike it. Your favorite is my least favorite. I get it. So yeah, that one is definitely my least favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't mind the crisp ones, the ones that scraggle. You know what? I forgot about these. Well, those are delicious. This might be my favorite. Well, I don't know. 
This or the pineapple thing. These these lime salt things are really good. The sweet and spicy, or the sweet and salty is really big. Wow. Yeah. Well, do you want some questions? Oh, yeah, we got trivia, right? Yep. Nice. Becky, you ready? I hear the trivia is back. The trivia league. Yep, learned league. Llamas. Okay. Number one. Kids in Thailand's Mokin tribe can A. Whistle with perfect pitch B. Smell fish from a mile away <laughs> what? C. See perfectly underwater or D. Climb 60 feet in 10 seconds I'm going for the climbing thing. <clears throat> okay. I feel like they might be climbing like a palm tree. Okay, what do you guys think? So A, whistle with perfect pitch. B, smell fish from a mile away. C, see perfectly underwater. Hmm. Or D, climb 60 feet in 10 seconds. I really hope it's the uh, see perfectly underwater. I'm going with the smell fish from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking it's like just everything smells like fish and so it could be a mile away it could be 10 feet, feet away just like i always smell fish i don't know it's, i just want it to be that one oh. <laughs> all right we got some d's becky's on my team Braden's saying b with me with the fish mm -hmm. ink guy yeah, says the d. sea perfectly underwater we got a couple more d's okay okay well the answer hmm. what is it is actually c See perfectly See, underwater? Yeah. Yes. With training, Mokin children are able to make their pupils smaller, much like dolphins, allowing them to see underwater and collect clams and sea cucumbers on the ocean floor. Because the human eye loses adaptability, I can't speak. You got this With salty age, thing in your mouth. <laughs> it's up to these incredible kids to gather the coveted crustaceans. Huh. That's a really cool superpower. Right? Yeah. Who knew? Good job, Ink Guy. Yeah, you got it right. Super cool. That is cool. Okay. Number two. A chef in Thailand uses what to cook his famous chicken? A. 1,000 mirrors. B. A flamethrower. C. An ancient oven. Or D. Boiling seawater. Hmm. The chef in Thailand uses what to cook his famous chicken? A, a thousand mirrors. B, a flamethrower. C, an ancient oven. Or D, boiling seawater. Have you seen the answer? No. Okay. You gonna take a guess? I'm gonna go with boiling seawater. That's a solid guess. I'm gonna go with ancient oven. That was the. I thought that was sort of too boring. Well, too I safe. don't know. I thought it was a safe one. That's her. D is kind of boring. I mean, boiling seawater seems like a pretty badass way to cook chicken. It'd probably be good. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we picked the boring ones, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Boiling seawater would make yummy chicken. I think so, too. Well, B, because of the awesome factor, we got an A. A thousand mirrors. Now, that would be... A yeah. thousand mirrors is dope. Yeah. We go A, I don't know. Good. All right. Cool. Okay. Yep. What do you got? Number two. Right. The answer is A... A thousand mirrors. A thousand. Dude, an ink guy is running away with it today. Apparently, chicken can be fried, grilled, and roasted, and sunburned. Using a thousand perfectly aligned mirrors to harness the sun's uber hot rays, roadside chicken vendor Sila Sutherat needs just 12 minutes to cook his poultry to perfection. Sounds like the crispiest chicken under the sun. Wow. Yep. All right. Awesome. Well, Number three, which of the following originated in Thailand? A, sriracha sauce. B, Tabasco sauce. C, ramen noodles. Or D, soy sauce. What originated in Thailand? Sriracha, Tabasco, ramen, or soy sauce? I think it's sriracha. You think? I mean, based on the front. Yeah. I could sort of see that. I think it's sriracha. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I want to say sriracha too. We got two D's, a C, and an A coming through. I forget what the what the letters were. It's A sriracha, B Tabasco, C ramen, and D soy sauce. Hmm. I'd be surprised if it was soy sauce, but yeah, I. 
We get a lot of those. Can't be B. Yeah, it can't be B. Tabasco is from Tabasco. It's Tabasco, yeah. yeah. And ramen, I always think of that more <clears throat> maybe as a Japanese thing, potentially. Yeah. Or some other place. I don't think of Thailand as yeah. a place that would originate. Okay. Well. What is it? The answer is A, sriracha. Yes. If Good. they're guilty of adding sriracha to everything, like us, you had Thailand to think. No one quite knows who first made the hot chili peppers sauce-based. Multiple locals have made conflicting claims, but we know it's originated nearly 100 years ago in the southern Thai town of Sri Rachan. Sri, Sri Raja. Huh. It's Sri, like Sri Lanka, and Sri Raja. That's what Kimberly says. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thought Sriracha was from California. It's made there now. Yeah. But yeah. I'll yeah. punish myself now for missing it. Are you uh -huh. going to punish yourself by eating some Sriracha? There you go. <laughs> That's, uh, you've been bad. Have some Sriracha. Okay, number four. Mm -hmm. It's Thai tradition to call newborn babies A. Smelly, B. <laughs> fat, C. Annoying, or D. Ugly. I mean, they are annoying and kind of ugly. I'm going to go with fat. Tradition to call newborns A. Smelly, B. Fat, C. Annoying, or D. Ugly. I'll go smelly. Everyone's saying fat. I mean, that's sort of what I was thinking, <laughs> but I don't want to pick the same one. A lot of fats. Is fat B? Yeah. Everybody's going fat. <laughs> All right, what is it? The answer is ugly. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Did you go ugly? No, I went smelly. Oh, so close. Um, ugly, huh? If you told an American mom that her newborn was ugly, you'd likely to get bonked on the head by a rattle. <laughs> yeah, but sure, that's you, what happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> But if you told a Thai mom the same thing, you get a big smile. That's because superstitious locals believe evil spirits steal away cute babies. So even if a baby is adorable, you better not say so. In fact, it's the ruder the comment, the better. So it's sort of like, like bless you, sort of like trying not, like the sort of superstitious sort of thing to say. Yeah. To try and not get the spirits out or. Oh yeah, can you sneeze in your soul out yeah. or something? So, huh. I mean, not so, the same thing, but sort of a similar sort of superstition that it's something you just say, even if you don't mean it. Yeah. All right, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, let's tell people their babies are hideous. Yeah. We can get very rude. Oh, oh. For sure. Oh, the things I would say about those babies. Okay, number five. There's a famous Thai restaurant located A, in a cave. Okay. B, in an underwater dome. Oh, that sounds dope. C, in the treetops, or D, underneath a waterfall. So, Those are all cool. In a cave, B, in an underwater dome, C, in the treetops, or D, underneath a waterfall. What are you going to go for? I have an answer. I'm just going to hold off for a second. <clears throat> I think <sighs> all of those are so cool. I'm going with all of the above. All of the above. You know they've done it before. Oh. They are all dope. It says a time is Thai restaurant. I don't know. I'm still going with all. I'm going to say it's case. probably a cave because there's a picture of a cave on the box. Oh. I think, I don't know, treetop sounds way more likely. Yeah. I feel you like they have like the rainforest yeah. there. I'm going to go cave. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go cave. Okay, number five. We got some uh, we got some uh, A. We got some, you know, some B underwater. Some C and some a little bit of everything. What did you get for the answer? I said cave. The answer is C in the treetops. Oh, that's what I thought was more likely. I was just hopeful. The Suniva Kiri restaurant takes fine diving to crazy new tights, literally. Diners eat their meals in uh, wooden pods suspended 36 feet up in the rainforest canopy with waiters zip lining to and fro in order to take the uh, orders and transport food. We have to wonder, have any local monkeys been lucky enough to snatch some dessert? There has to be. You know they You have. know they're getting some of that mango sticky rice. You know they are. You know they are. <laughs> you know, now that you say it, I'm almost certain I've seen some like show about this restaurant. 
Yeah. That sounds awesome. It does sound awesome. <laughs> Becky says, franchise dope location restaurant serving mirror chicken. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's what they need. The, the mirror chicken is going to be hard in a cave, though, i got to well, say. <laughs> that's true. They're going to need so many mirrors. <laughs> I mean, maybe it has the, uh, the open top someplace and so it just he, it goes down i feel like it's spot. like the indiana jones where they like line up the big mirrors and it brings it into the the, yeah, the okay. underground there you go. tomb or whatever yeah. i think it's gonna be like that but for an oven yeah <laughs> okay number six thailand is the only country home to which of these animals okay a red elephants b sand eating tortoises c waterfall climbing fish or d Hairless tigers. Which of these countries is Thailand home to? A. Red elephants. B. Sand eating tortoises. C. Waterfall climbing fish. Or D. Hairless tigers. So it's not an all of the above. There's no way there's a hairless no, tiger. No. There's no way I haven't heard about a hairless tiger. Um, waterfall climbing fish, like, I know that's a thing, but I don't know if it's a Thailand thing. I mean, because you know fish like the salmon trying to go yeah. against and climb right. you know um i'm gonna go red elephants okay what was the other thing sand eating fish. tortoises. oh sand beef. tortoise yeah i don't know that doesn't seem like a I'm real thing i'm going with waterfall climbing fish that's a guess. solid choice i'm still sticking with the crazy red elephants but yeah uh salmon can climb waterfalls i don't know if salmon can they can go up like rapids but i don't know about waterfalls oh you know what like small ones sure i've definitely seen that like going up a small waterfall. Maybe. I don't know. We got some A's. We got a B. A's and a B. And I'm going red elephant. The answer is C, waterfall climbing fish. Ah, I was right. I got one finally. You did. The caves of northern Thailand are the only places in the world where you can find the waterfall climbing cave fish, a two-inch long, completely blind fish species that is able to climb the walls of waterfall, much like salamanders. Huh. Not all. Not sure if that's super cool or super freaky. I think it's super cool. What are you talking about? Sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number seven. Misbehaving Thai police officers have to wear blank as punishment. A. Neon orange fedoras. <laughs> B. Hello Kitty armbands. <laughs> that's just, oh, that's C, just cool. C. Polka dotted jackets. Uh -huh. Or D. Banana leaf underwear. Misbehaving Thai police officers have to wear blank as punishment. We should have this in the U.S., right? Right. You sh shame people into not doing bad things. <laughs> That's right. So A, neon orange fedoras, uh -huh. B, Hello Kitty armbands, C, polka dotted jackets, or B, D, banana leaf underwear. I'm going to go with A with the fedoras. I think it's probably the most likely. I'm going polka dot jackets. Which one's that? This is a C. C. I'm going C. We got uh, we some got a, Hello Kitty. Uh -huh. We got the banana leaf underwear. We got the neon orange. I hope it's banana leaf underwear, but I are you don't just think gonna it wear banana like just underwear just <laughs> out? Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be exposed. It could be in their pants. The answer is B. Hello Kitty armband. Hello Kitty armband is punishment. If a police officer in Thailand parks illegally, arrives late to work, or is caught littering, they don't get a slap on the wrist. They get Hello Kitty on their bicep. Misbehaving cops have to wear a pink heart-covered Hello Kitty armband over their official uniform. What do you think? Is this perfect punishment? I'm glad the misbehaving they're talking about there is like they showed up late or they parked in the wrong place. It's and not, not like, like supplying drugs to drug dealers. <laughs> that's or... right. Or anything you saw on the shield or, you know, shooting unarmed citizens, <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Good job, Bijou. And Brayden, you both got yeah. it. Nice. Yeah, that's good. So, number eight, which of this means LOL in Thailand? A crab, B five five five, C lip, D zoo. Which of these mean lol in Thailand? A crab, B five five five, C lip, or D zoo. I'm going with five 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 too. I don't know why it's. I'm going with crabs. 
Okay. okay. Maybe an emoji. That'd be fun. So everyone's going five, five, five. <laughs> Except for me. I'm going crab. Yeah. Well, the answer is B, five, five, five. Ah! If someone from Thailand texts you five, 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 don't write it off as a butt dial. They're not <laughs> telling you how many yums they want either. They're actually saying lol. The Thai word for five is pronounced ha, so texting 555 is shorthand for ha ha ha. That's good. Are you giving her... Just getting a little bit of those sticky devices. Well, that was fun. Because she's a good girl. She is a good girl. Yeah. Let's see, what else? There's that little thing of on Thailand in 60 seconds, so it's a short little thing about that. Okay. What you might know about Thailand, Bangkok is called the Venice of the East because of its whopping 83 canals. Over 10,000 boats filled with tropical fruits, veggies, and fish reside in the watery streets, creating one of the world's largest floating markets. What you might not know, Thailand is the only Southeast Asian country never colonized by European powers. I just didn't realize that. I didn't know it either. In fact, the only thing longer than Thai's history of independence is the name of their king. <laughs> so it starts here and goes here. Wow. I, I can't, uh, that is insane. The second half of that paragraph, which it won't focus on, I'm going to take my word for it. That's a person's name. It there is. There we go. Yeah. Finally did. Wow. That is it's a good name. so long. I mean, I don't know what the name is, but you have to go short and build, you know. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was fun. That wasn't it. Oh, I thought there was more. I mean, I thought there wasn't any more. <laughs> Um, listen, string pop and ancient opera. You'll find both in our Thai playlist at universalyums, uh, dot com slash it or slash tunes. Let me say that again. Universalyums dot com slash tunes. And they'll have string pop and ancient opera. So speak. Sanuk or uh, Sanuk means have fun in Thai, but it's more than a word. It's the local way of life. You'll have no trouble getting in the Sanook spirit with the wild yums we have in store. Ooh. I gave her one of these crackers and she is very dubious about it. Oh yeah, she, she knows better than Here you me. go. Imagine addressing that old envelope. Becky says you ought to move to that Welsh village. Would you be <laughs> interested in a Thai iced tea? I don't know, maybe. Okay. It has four cups of water, ten red Rubios uh, red tea bags, seven black tea bags, three tablespoons of granulated sugar, ten star anise chopped, ten cloves, half a cup of half and half, half a cup sweetened condensed milk, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. In five cups of water? Four cups of water. In four cups? That's it. Holy crap. That is, that's insane. That's more tea than more tea See, bags. See, Becky says Thai iced tea is delicious. That sounds delicious. That sounds like it's, it's wow, wow. Yep. Ten star anise. I mean, yeah. Wow. Dedication. So I'm reading one other thing. They have a little, they have a couple of little fun things. There's also the Yum Shop, and they show just a few of the things that you can, you can get there. I wonder if they have the Boy, Boy Blam yet. Boy Blang. Boy Blang. <laughs> that stuff was delicious. Mm -hmm. I love Boy. What, what country was that again? Philippines, right? I think it's Philippines. There were some good ones from the Philippines, wasn't there? Mm. I was actually shocked by how much I liked the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And I did not like a lot of the UK things. Oh, I liked everything in the you UK. You liked the UK one. Yeah. I did not. Like that lamb and mint. Oh, the lamb and, and mint chips? So good. 
Mm. What was the other chip? There's another chip. There's there. another uh, kind. A uh, hot mustard chip. Hot mustard. You didn't like that one either. No, I like the mustard I chip. You didn't. It was oh, yeah. very horseradishy. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, check. Still. Hmm. Everyone wanted the boy wang. It's because it's delicious. So it is. Yeah. I hope they have this. Oh, that's not on here. Oh, God. Hmm. All okay. right. Well, I hope you had fun. I had fun. I didn't have fun the whole time. Um. That I shouldn't say it was the whole fun, but it was some fun. It was mostly fun. Even when, like even the stuff that we didn't care for that much wasn't awful. I did not love that one for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks very much for joining us. And thanks. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll have another one of these probably later this week w weekend with Egyptian food. I... Maybe we'll do it Sunday or something to sort of break them uh, yeah. break them up so we don't have just like three live streams in a row. Nobody wants to see us. Nobody that wants much. to see us three days in a row. No, right? that's too many. No, um, everyone loves seeing our beautiful faces. <laughs> well, one of us faces. is. Um, so uh, tomorrow, uh, five p.m. Eastern, we will be back with our regular old live stream. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to show the the retro fifty one this time without it continually dropping uh, every maybe ten seconds. I know that was terrible. So. Yeah, we'll bring back a few of the things that we uh, we talked about then. Sure. Also, I just got some more of these in the mail. So, Look Mr. Nose, nose Stickers. Face. Nose Stickers are back in stock with his nose tongue sticking out. So, those are fun. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, all right. So, we'll see you tomorrow yes. at uh, 5 o'clock Eastern-ish. Eastern, Eastern yeah. Or whenever. Because that's when, you know, it'll be well, up yeah, forever. Yeah, it'll be up there you know? forever. Yeah. So, if you can right. come, chat with us. Awesome. If you can't, stop by later. We get it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thanks very much. Also, check me out on Twitch. Uh, I don't have that address up here. Uh, Twitch.com slash, uh, no, twitch.tv slash Ink Dependence Mike. Uh, I was up there playing Stream some video Wednesday. games today with some Rogue Legacy. Uh, I've got Paper Mario still to play. Yeah. You have Fall Guy? I, I got Fall Guys on the PS4, so if I stream that, it won't have a camera. Oh, that's right. It can do audio, but no camera. So, yeah. you know, that's the way it goes. But, I mean, how much do you need to see my face? It'll be fine. So much. Everyone wants to see your face. So much. All right. Say goodbye, Audrey. Say goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Bye. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs>